What is going on, Bull Nation? I am Laser Board, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new extraction shooter, Battle Royale, making its way into the scene. And boy, is this game looking solid. It is being brought to you with the Unreal Engine 5, so we know the quality and the look is going to be amazing. And the game is called Off the Grid, but in reality, guys, this game looks off the hook because I'm telling you right now, man, this looks really awesome. It seems like it's pushing the genre of an extraction shooter to its highest potential, not only with the fidelity of the quality of imagery that we get from the game, but also the gameplay mechanics. Today, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the game so you guys can get ready, you and your squad, so you guys can go in here and dive in and try out the game there is going to be a beta launching very, very soon on the Xbox, PlayStation, and of course, PC. Now, one thing I do want to let you guys know, this particular game is going to be free to play, but there is a bit of a caveat. That caveat being, it's only going to be for current gen. So no old gen, no PS4. Uh, so none of that. It's only going to be for you know PS5, Xbox, and PC. Now, with that being said, what type of game is this? What's the difference between, you know, Call of Duty, you know, Warzone? What's the difference between other Battle Royales like Apex Legends? Because it looks a little bit similar to that. We're going to break that all down. Now, if you guys want to stay up to date to everything that's going to be happening for this game, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about it. So, unlike Battle Royales where you launch into the map and you pretty much just kill anybody that's there, pure PvP, this one in particular has PvE elements, very similar to what we have currently right now in the DMZ, where you need to do missions. Now, the difference between this game and that particular model is the fact that in this particular game, you have to go and do a campaign mission. It's not a mission that you pick up an item and it tells you, go get five different artifacts or five different uh, you know, items within the area. This is actually a mission that you have to do to continue the storyline of the game. Supposedly, the storyline of this game lasts a total of 60 hours, and you're able to complete the 60 hour campaign missions throughout the game. But the problem is that there is 150 other players trying to complete the same mission you're trying to do. So, just to give you guys a better idea, there was a video that dropped today with Dr. Disrespect and a few other content creators. They were trying to do a mission of uh, transporting a person, an individual they picked up via a convoy, to a certain location. Now, throughout this uh, you know, transportation of the convoy, they had to worry about players ambushing them, trying to steal that particular person from their convoy and exfil with that individual. Now, it gets pretty chaotic throughout the gameplay because you're able to see them trying to, you know, being very stealthy, being very precautious. You know, I got a sniper over here, got a sniper over there, got people moving through through the alleyway, all that stuff, you know, good comms and all that. But there was an actual player waiting for the combine to roll, roll by and they got ambushed and they not only got killed but their mission completely failed and the person that ambushed them completed the mission now think about doing these missions a total of 60 hours of them and that's what makes this game completely different than other battle royales other extraction shooters that we have which we'll get into a little bit more because you're actually doing campaign missions as opposed to standard missions now, I did mention extraction shooter because there is a extraction element to here. You could theoretically go in there and do the mission you want to do to complete the storyline, or you could infill and try to extract items. Now, this is pretty much not like, you know, what we have right now in DMZ. This is more kind of relatively to what we have in Division and in Dark Zones. You're able to extract items and send them to your base for you to upgrade now there are things you need to upgrade like for example weapon attachments that you need to put into your gun you, you got you there's a prosthetic limb that you have for your character it could be a prosthetic arm prosthetic legs now in order for you guys to enhance these and upgrade these you're going to have to infill and extract these items now if you die as you're exfilling these items you're pretty much going to end up dead and going to be probably losing that item I'm telling you guys this game looks amazing it sounds solid it sounds really interesting the good thing is, guys, we have currently two games that we're really looking forward that are on our radar for extraction shooters. The beautiful thing about all these games that we're talking about is they're free to play, so there's no buying entry into purchasing the game. You get to readily hop in there if you like it. If you don't like it, you can just keep playing it, or if you don't like it, you could go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, this is a third-person shooter. We don't know if it's going to uh, come into first-person perspective. I know a lot of you guys 
do enjoy your first person perspective but this is a third person shooter very similar to another game that we talked about earlier uh throughout the uh this uh, month now with that being said guys i think this game has a lot of potential to being one of the best games that could move the battle royale extraction shooter genre into a very positive direction think of it like you're playing destiny objectives but you have to deal with pvp 150 players that are spawning in trying to do the same objective you're trying to do or trying to exfil items from the location that you're doing whether they stop you from completing your task that's one thing or whether you kill them and take everybody out so you could complete your tasks in that sense now of course after completing the task you will be awarded uh, items and these items can be ahead and turned in for better loot now we're going to have separate videos going over our weapons going enhancements so if you guys want to see more of off the grid let me know in the comment section down below we'll be more than happy to cover for you guys but i want to know from you guys what do you think of the game do you like it dislike it what do you think uh, drop them in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video